the CPM high for tutorials? Uh, wait, what do you mean high cost per impression? I don't run uh, like for ads. Like how much? Oh, how you mean? Okay, you mean the other way around. Nah, honestly, it's shit. It's really, really bad. It's like nothing. I can tell you the range. I think uh, YouTube doesn't let me say it exactly, but it's. Uh, I'm gonna say just things that are publicly available. So I get about thirty to forty thousand views per month. Like if I wanted to buy a coffee every day, like a cheap coffee, not like Starbucks, Starbucks shit, but like a cheap coffee. Uh, and a station at a, at a station or whatever every day it would not cover it for, for that month not even close that's that's what I can tell you either way it's not worth it at all you 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 get almost nothing that's why like a lot, lot of YouTubers uh, end up uh, just selling courses or just doing something else because you have to have millions and millions of views to make some reasonable income from it per month it's insane it's tough business being doing YouTube is really tough at tutorials channels are making much more nah it's nothing. It's really nothing. You really got to appreciate that people who make tutorials, not necessarily have to mean me, but like people generally who make tutorials, they get very little from it. You get like some side benefits, like uh, people contact you and you are like somewhat publicly famous, right? People know about you, like people that learned Unreal probably will know about me. So that that's bad. that's a huge benefit, but purely from money, money-wise perspective, it's not good. It's not good at all. Like I had the channel before and I had four euros per thousand views. Yeah, that's pretty low as well. Okay, paid tutorials are a thing, right? Yeah, it is. That's why you see so many, so many YouTubers, uh, developers, YouTubers who make tutorials to make exactly like a paid course. That's the only way how they can make money. It's just purely from YouTube advertisement. You don't get almost anything. So yeah, that's one way to do it. I never did it. I know for me, it's almost like if I'm going to make it and record just a tutorial, I can just as well uh, just sell it for free. It's about the same for me. I'm generally a proponent of education being for free. Uh, it's different with a personal or mentorship. If you have like one on one person that actually talks with you and explains to you everything, then yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. You are really paying a lot for, no, not paying a lot, but you're paying for uh, being shortcutted there. When, when it comes to like a pre recorded video that anyone can see, I don't know, I don't feel very good about getting paid for it. That's more of a personal creed rather than anything. I'm not looking down for anyone who does that. There's a lot of people who do it fairly successfully. Again, Tom Lumen. Uh, uh, someone for C++ I would always recommend a really really good dude has paid course and that course is always worth the money and it's very very expensive course but uh, it teaches you everything you, you want to know and you need to know so it's difficult guys but again on the other hand be, having a YouTube and making tutorials is gonna help you get some recognition later and make it easier for you to get a job or something like that so it has its advantages like like I talked about before uh, it's just uh, it's just not directly monetary usually so it's like you, you get like a lot of side benefits uh, even learning better from humble bundles, even like, yeah, uh, ha ha ha. Yeah, you can you can get some bunch of courses from by uh, humble bundle, I suppose. Yeah, 